hello everyone today I'm gonna present you the video for our project 2 for CS50 uh, web development and today my project 2 name is commerce as you see in the screen so in this commerce uh, project um, you have to make a web website where we have to design uh, the auctions so auctions uh, where users can log in they can put their uh, perspective respective things uh, to be auctioned and then once the auction uh, meets their uh, demanding price and then you can close the auction and then wh whoever uh, bids higher or whatever uh, at whatever price uh, will win the auction and uh, in order to do so uh, there are some queries I have to complete um, in this I have in this uh, project I have to show you the models which the commerce made for models such as auction listings um, uh, some other uh, models including uh, watch list categories create listing and login logout also um, I have to show you how those things works and uh, how we use it uh, we, uh, by using Django interface um, so let's start this first of all I want to show you that I created this and I'm gonna show you um, so I you I, I will make uh, these two uh, users John and Jane with their username is Jodo and Jado and the passwords one two three four and four three two one and uh, the third user which is on PK I'll use it for bids so I will, I will show you how the bids have been made and uh, how we can um, we can see that the bids can be uh, listed in the auction and uh, so let's start this and yes uh, also like for these auctions I will make these auctions in different categories to uh, to show the queries because these are the categories are uh, required in our auction listing so let's start this we go to the thing run server Okay, let me copy that and I'll go to the thing. Yeah. I will I will show you uh, in a bit that why I made or why I open all these uh, uh, these uh, sites and I will show you in a bit. So this is our uh, main. Um, a landing page um, where you have these kind of uh, options you have active listings login and then register so let's register first uh, let's uh, log in first let me see if there's a uh, let me see who, who, who is our first test user so test user is John with the password is uh, Let's see Jodo and one two three four. Let let's try. Hmm. So it says that user does not exist. So let's register him. Username is Jodo. For this purposes, we I'll just put my own uh, pass or uh, my own email. We can put like one two three four for Mr. Jodo. There we go. And let's just ignore that and let's just log in J O D O one two three four let me try again let's see what is what was that J O D O E okay Okay, don't worry, we can register again. So J O D O E with 
this email address one two three four one two three four Hmm. So it says okay. So it's already made it. So it says username already taken. Um, don't worry. We can make uh, something like G O D O E S, just in case. One two three four. By the way, I tested those users before. That's why it's in their registry. So don't worry about that. We can uh, we can work around. So Jodo with S at the end. There we go. So I'm gonna not gonna update that. So here the first uh, test user we have. Okay. Similarly, let's go to the next user, which is Jane. Let me see first, like quickly, if it's uh, not taken. I believe. like four three two one hmm. so it's invalid so we can register here j a t o e and four three two one four three two one there we go so we have two listers uh two um, users for test so one is jdos and jade jd with their passwords now i already made a um, OPK for bits for testing purpose. OPK is not a super user. It's not a super user. It's just a just a regular user, uh, just like uh, Jado and Jodo. Um, but OPK, I I'm just test. It's just for test purposes. I'm just using it uh, for uh, for bidding. So I put the password, which I will not tell you. <laughs> so yeah, so. J on PK is the third uh, thing, uh, the third uh, uh, user for uh, for bidding. Now, now I will tell you why I open all these uh, windows. I'm gonna make e e uh, listings for each category. Okay, so let's do this. So I'll go to create listing. Title of the listing. Okay, let's see the first. What is the first thing? This is book. Okay, so let me go back. Not that one. This one. Okay, and this is says um, what's the what's the thing? Christmas Carol. Okay, so I put Christmas Carol by Charles Dickens. And description I say like as. Uh, Christmas edition and uh, it's under category it's under books and for some reason I'll just say uh, that I already put the price by the way it's $50 so I'll put 50 doesn't matter like you you can put any price depends on your um, on your uh, thing now so we have this optional link for imaging uh, for putting the image of that item so that's why I open already those uh, uh, those uh, windows so I'm gonna copy this link and paste it here and submit there we go so we got our first listening by own PK remember that own PK so I'm gonna create other listings quickly. Um, the next is oh, coach bag. I'm gonna close that because I don't need this. I'm gonna say coach bag for sale. I'll say good good bag because we just we're just here testing this uh, how this framework works, how this uh, works. Starting bag because it's a very uh, elite bag I think the price is uh, 175 okay 175 and uh, and again like for the image I'll just copy this link and remember um, I use those JPG format right here um, it can work on PNG but uh, just to for the sake of uh, for the project I'm just using J JPG uh, images 
so here's this copy link from perspective uh, website and uh, to get the bag and so I just want to put 180 just for a round number it's okay there we go so we have coach bag <coughs> excuse me for this okay so just bear with me I'm gonna put uh, I'm gonna make all these uh, uh, listings so just bear with me I'm gonna go one more Ooh, the next one is MacBook Air so I'm gonna do MacBook Air for sale I can copy and paste that I will put electronics because it's under electronics category I think it's a uh, expensive uh, one I'm gonna make a uh, so I'm gonna make thirteen hundred dollars and MacBook Air. I'm gonna copy that, paste, submit. So every time you create listings, uh, it will populate those listings under this active listing, uh, active listing uh, in uh, index. So this is how we have. Um, you can also bid yourself as since you're open bidder. So you have access you can also bid yourself too but for the sake of this project we will not use own pk as a bidder because he opens the bid like he wants to sell the item and mr john or either jane they will try to um to uh to make a bid and they want to get the item okay so just bear with me i'm gonna create few more listings and then I'll be back okay this is toy so let's do that this is for Hot Wheels car Hot Wheels toy car for sale cars for sale same thing just you know, don't want to copy paste because I have to go back to that thing so t toys and I'll put the thing here oh sorry about that not here so starting bit should be okay $25 now I'm putting just roughly ideas now you know the idea like how I'm making the bid so just one more thing and then after that uh, <coughs> excuse me it's not it's not the virus <laughs> so just bear with me okay I'm um, to the purpose of uh, this uh, plant actually I think it's metallic plant let me see planter yeah the purpose of this whole exercise is to show you that uh, I'm, I'm making and I'm, uh, I'm gonna testify every single um, category of the thing so uh, in order to complete this project okay so make it like twenty dollars or make it okay make it like hundred dollars not a big deal and again copy this link one last important thing um bidder whoever bids it's up to the bidder uh they can or they cannot uh upload the image so I don't do that but you can do it in we can test it but again like for the sake of this I don't want to because uh, in real world nobody wants to bid without the picture there if I want to put uh, my my laptop on sale on bidding um, people will ask me where's the picture so in real world it's not uh, uh, it's not uh, like re it's not real it's it's not uh, feasible so one last thing and I'm I'm done from here listings I'll say two box for sale same thing and the category we have tools starting big ten dollars and there okay so now we created all those uh, uh, listings so let's check it out I don't want to click bid now because if I want to bid and then uh, um, I want to see 
uh, from other pers from other users perspective so let's do this okay first of all before going this we have categories here like i said it will populate in every single category so the books i did charts uh christmas carol char dickens by charles dickens and electronics we have macbook a for sale fashion we have coach bag home accessories is these tools this and last but not least toys we have this so and also if you go to active listings we have all these now let's play around with other users remember i use these uh, auctions by this user o and pk just for the sake of this project so so first uh, let's go to jdo which is what our uh, thing john um john do <clears throat> okay let's see what's the thing joro sorry about that j o d o e s one two three four okay so now this user can see this active listings so so as a buyer okay mr john goes around mm, he doesn't want back but uh, he can say but mm, he likes macbook okay let's bid for it 1300 okay here's the thing now in order to do that let's test it out if the john said like okay i want to put thousand dollar which is less than the actual amount let me submit that and i say no it should be greater than the current price so that completes the uh, thing okay the guy mr john has to collect them uh, to collect and arrange money for that because he wants it okay so he said okay i want it for 1350 john said okay okay so he put 1350 and he said like uh, i love mac uh, macbooks as a comment so comments made and also he put his this in his watch list so three things i have done here is first to put the 1350 which is current bid by mr uh, john you will see later in the thing and also john as a john i put the macbook as a thing as a, a comment now if you go back to listings and uh, <coughs> excuse me uh, john wants to buy uh, things for a car for the christmas gift for his son okay so mr john said okay i'm gonna buy this for 26 dollars and i'll say like i love to gift it to my son okay and also submit it he also wants wants it to watch list just in case so as soon as you put uh, things in your watch list it populates here so when you click there so this is under your watch list under john uh, john's uh, account so let's do one more thing um, so mr uh, john wants to buy this so we can try that let's see exact amount what is going to happen so let's see and mr and again with a comment let i want to um, renovate my closet just for the sake of the thing and uh, you can say okay ten dollars exact ten dollars so it must be greater than the asking price so <clears throat> I can say eleven dollars and we'll see okay I don't know why I think my cursor is by getting out of the thing but it's okay let's say 11 and uh, I'll say like I want to renovate my um, closet to submit that perfect okay one more thing just for the sake of this project I put two different submit buttons uh, one for the bidding one for the uh, uh, for comments so yeah so this is it 
this is it is what it is and let me see oh yeah we can put this in also watch list because mr john wants to uh, renovate his house and i think that's it so let's quickly go to miss now jane as a user turn so j do four three two one has already made those users okay sorry about this keep prompting but it's okay so Jane wants this bag obviously it's a lovely bag and uh, she put this in her to her watch list and I can say she wants it for $200 because she I loved it okay and uh, let's do now let's make a little bit uh, a tougher competition so mr. miss Jane oh, um, let's let's assume like Jane is single <laughs> So Jane also wants uh, 30 that uh, a MacBook Air. So okay, she's she's okay. I'm gonna buy for 1400. I love MacBook 2. Okay, let me just copy this because I'm gonna there's two submit uh, submit buttons. So I'm gonna do that. And here now it shows the highest bidder, which is done by Jane, and it says 1400. And also, if you go about down with the comments, Mr. J uh, John did that at that time, but now Jane has a second comment, which is the latest comment on uh, like I love MacBook 2. So the idea of this exercise is that uh, to see if the listings working and how uh, we can com compete between users to um, to to uh, things so I think for the exercise purposes which is fine okay now let's little play around before we go to the main uh, user so mr. let's go to mr. John and mr. John under his watch list he saw that uh, when he go he saw like oh that says 1400 I did for 1350 let's see now if he goes there oh so miss Jane did that uh, depend on the thing okay he, he said okay I'm gonna go for 1500 okay by the way also you can also increment and decrement those numbers depends on the thing okay instead of 15 I can say he's asking for 1450 now it's updates the latest price up there and by mr. John so let's say uh, John wins this because Jane doesn't have money after that. What's gonna happen? So let's find out. So let's go to the original user, OMPK. Um, we have a, okay, let me put the password. So Mr. OMPK. <coughs> So we have this uh, everything right so we have these uh, categories so under his uh, active listings we have this all so when we go to the bit now he saw that uh, there's nobody uh, uh, there and it's a uh, good price so we can say, so let's say we close the bit because there's no other bit let's close it so here you see because nobody bid that and owner is the one who bid, bid it bid for it so there we go on pick is the winner so let's go to the next one I want to show you something really uh, interesting things here so the close bid here remember we see we saw John John did 1450 and J sorry uh, Jane did 1400 and John did 1450 so if you close the bid so when it goes to John though so John wins the bid because he has he was the highest highest bidder and also uh, he did the thing so under the thing if you go um, and again it's like so nobody uh, bids against um, Jane to win the bag so we can close the bid and now Jane Jane wins the bid uh, Jane wins the coach bag um, so one more thing if I uh, 
uh, come here and I have to say uh, I want to show you something really important if I go back to John sorry my voice is a little bit low uh, not feeling well not that but, but just uh, want to show you something so mr. John wins this so owner said okay I'm gonna close the bid and John wins the uh, MacBook Air so under his watch list and as soon as you win that you got this uh, it the watch list is uh, removed from that because you already won that item okay let me see what uh, Jado Jado wins Jane okay let you Jado okay hmm I think we missed one part but we can do it again it's not a big deal okay so Jane won Jane wants this okay Jane bit like 101 and submit okay so Jane did that okay let me just log out to lock in this uh, deal for Jane so let's go to the planter okay I'm gonna close the bid there we go so Jado knows the winner let's confirm by logging in by Jane sorry <laughs> Jado to one and under her winnings there we go so I think I either forgot to put the higher amount so that's why Miss Jane couldn't win the bag sorry for her so this is how the thing works so let's now let's play around in admin mode so I created a super user which I didn't show here but I'm not gonna put the password so super user was the one is uh, which name Omar so Omar is the super user for admin purposes to show you how the things work okay so I'm gonna copy actually I'm gonna go to the home page the landing page okay I'm gonna copy that I'm gonna open the new one and I put slash admin okay so here let's play around as an admin what you can do as an admin okay so Omar is my super uh, I've created a super user as an admin user so to see like what's going on so under this uh, site we can uh, do a lot of things we can see a lot of things we can add listing we can change the listings we can see uh, we can delete users add users so let's do that so let's quickly uh, go for it by the way um, let me go back so whenever you create listing it gives a number increment by number one two three four all the way those who are sold um, it won't refer that unless you make a new listing so in this for this purpose let's we keep the listing object same here we have object list seven and nine let's see so hot wheel cars nobody wants to uh, sell nobody wants to uh, buy hmm. so let's delete it even though own PK as a user he he created it he's not a super user uh, let me just confirm here so this user is not a super user I'll just write it down not a super user or admin I'll, on the other hand this super user is my name Omar so I can so I means like Omar can change this in the admin uh, group so without telling anything let's delete this listings and see what help what's gonna happen it's gonna say yes are you sure yes I'm saying yes I'm sure and let's go back to home listings and there we go in order to confirm that let's uh, <coughs> let's log in and by the way even before login uh, let me just uh, go to the landing page so that Hot Wheels is gone 
so now only one thing is left so even if you list as old pk the one who um, created the listing he will say oh where's my listing gone so then either by via email or with a we are call like admin group tell them like hey we close your uh, we deleted your uh, item listings for blah 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 reason now the next thing is users hmm that's what we that's where the funny part is okay let me log in again perfect so these are the users jado jado and all these i created this remember omar adds itself uh, you can change this but for this pr for the project purposes i can i will not for example i'll say i want to delete this profile well already okay i don't know the password be, uh, of that when i was testing this let's say geodos which is the uh, uh mr uh, john yeah sorry john was the one okay i'm gonna delete the user said are you sure i'll say yes joe does okay so here it's gone so let's check it out g-o-d-o-s which we created at the beginning of this video hmm. so it says no it's not in value username because it's already gone so that's how we manipulate and things around we can also um, <coughs> delete comments so by the way there's no comment right now but uh, what we can do we have we still have one active thing let's make a comment on it for example um, Omar is signed in okay I'm gonna comment on like uh, good thing okay I'm gonna comment two times okay so let's do this okay so excuse me let me go back because okay it shows it showed comment but I just I'm just quickly going here and there so sorry about that so the first comment by uh, Joe does which we deleted the user but the comment still stays there if you go down Joe does Joe does mayor comment I love it and also uh, as an admin user I said good thing so it should show here in the comment section which I created here so here it says good thing now I want to delete my own comment so let's delete that comment you can also say no take me back and it will it will not do it but let's do it. delete the comment and I'll tell you sure I'll say yes I'm sure and uh, let's go back it says one comment and either it although it shows here but when I click the active listings go back, go to the thing and boom that uh, comment is gone so this is how uh, the commerce website work um, I am sure I completed all the queries all the requirements uh, asked by uh, uh, CS50 uh, to complete the project and uh, yeah, one last thing I can delete the bids also too so that's the that is also important thing to show there are two bids let's see <clears throat> toolbox for sale and also hot wheels so let's delete that let me just refresh it because uh, just want to see what's going on okay so when I do the bid object uh, uh, I have to go back and let me just uh, go to active listings okay toolbox so let's I'm gonna delete this toolbox so let's me delete this okay it says access successfully deleted let me go back to active listings um, okay let me log out log in oh sorry about that I have to do the thing hmm oh that's listing sorry I was confused between listings and uh, bidding so i did delete bidding which is under okay let's do this um, okay let me log in back again by um, okay super user which is me 
let me see if there's any bidding here um, yes bid by Jodo okay I'm gonna delete the bid of this uh, tools um, so mr. Jodo did of $26 is it true yes it's true so let's do that so we can delete this there we go so we can delete the bid so if you refresh this page so you'll see like there's no bidding yeah so the bidding is gone so this is how we uh, uh, do the things uh, we can manipulate the things we can keep those uh, bids like for example this is close bid and it shows by Mr. Uh, Jado win price for 101 for that uh, particular uh, listing uh, listing ID so as an admin you can manipulate things you can manipulate all the listings bids comments and also listings users watch log uh, watch list too you can also manipulate watch list too there's a three nine watch list ID ID number nine the admin knows like which one is which uh, what was under the sorry which item was under the uh, which watch list so this is uh, pretty straightforward and uh, I hope you like the video and uh, I'm gonna submit this uh, right after this uh, video and uh, till then be safe and have a happy holidays because uh, uh, winter is around the corner and have a good day thank you